Hi guys. I'll wait till we have a few more people on here. Hey guys, what's up everybody? Okay, so I am new to Makeup Goals here on Facebook. Um, my name is Nicole Ray. If you guys don't know me, you'll get to know me. Um, but I'm really excited to be taking over today. So I'm going to be doing a fall inspired makeup look. Tis the season. It's my favorite time of freaking year. And I mean, who is not obsessed with fall and winter and Halloween and Christmas and all of that. So Hey Kelly, hey Desiree, hi Madeline. So you guys bear with me, I don't speak Spanish. Um, so if I don't answer some of the stuff in Spanish, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm really excited to get started. Hi Elise, hi Amanda. So um, I'm gonna get started with my brows uh, because the girls got some really blonde brows and they're itty bitty and I want some fabulousness, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm gonna start off with KTB Cosmetics in Dip Brow um, and then I'll hit it with some powder. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be here. Okay, um, so I am, uh, for those of you guys, like I said, who don't know me, um, I am a celebrity hairstylist and makeup artist, um, and I am a, uh, master educator at Ruby Makeup Academy in Upland. Um, so, and I'm a working artist, a, um, freelance artist, so a lot of my stuff is in palettes, um, so you will see me using a spatula a lot, scooping stuff out and putting it on the back of my hand because I don't double dip into my products. That's like a big no-no for me. Um, yes, already started Xmas shopping. My four-year-old wants another iPad, a pink one. <laughs> I'm right there with your kid, okay? I want one too. <laughs> um, so I am going to scoop out some dip brow here and put it on the back of my hand. And I transform, guys. I mean, I'm very bare naked right now. Love your hand tattoo. Thank you. It is Walt Disney. And then I have Disney tatted, when you wish upon a star, dreams really do come true. And then I have Harry Potter, I have Sailor Moon, I have The Last Unicorn, um, and then My Little Pony, and then The Love for Music because I sing. And I would sing on here for you guys, but if you can't tell already, like my voice is kind of jacked. Um, I'm just getting my, my voice back. Hello from Sweden. Hey, Yoy Svensk. I'm from Sweden, guys. <laughs> Um, I live here in Cali, but I am from Sweden, and English is my second language, Swedish is my first language, so I am really excited that you're on here. Um, uh, let me see, yes, yeah, she gave me the works for Xmas, <laughs> Christmas list, yes. Oh, I'm so excited to have people from Sweden. Um, can I see your nails? Oh, girl, um, they're grown out. I, like, cut them off. I'm trying to get them off. They're, like, nailed on there. Okay, so I'm going to start with my brows. I'm just using an angled brush. This one is the crown brush. A crown, doesn't say the number, C160, but it's just an angled brow brush. And I'm going to start at the arch of my brow here. And I'm just going to... Sketch out my brow. Can you speak some Sweden? I want to hear what it sounds like. Um, okay, well, what do I say? Um, hey, my name is Nicole, and I'm in Smink Artist, and I live here in California. Oh, I'm going to smink me today here on Facebook. So, yay! <laughs> yes. So we are just sculpting out these brows. I love a bold brow, like super bold. I am definitely not basic. I like it extra. So I just do the dip brow all the way through and I just keep working it and then I'll start fading lightly on the inner corner.
Alrighty. Okay, so when I do brows, I can't breathe. <laughs> How did Butlinge, California? Yes, I moved to California when I was five, but I would go back home to Sweden every single year for three months out of the year, all the way up until uh, freshman year of high school. And then it slowed down because I was a cheerleader, a dancer, competing choir. I was all over the place. Um, I love pomade. I won't use nothing else. LOL. I used to be against pomade and then I started using it and then I fell in love. <laughs> Everyone help share this video. Let me see the views go up. Yes, that would be awesome. Um, oh, I don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. I don't know what that says. Hi, Cecilia. Hey, from Arkansas. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, from Lodi, New Jersey. That's what's up. Okay, we're getting people global over here. This is way too much makeup. I have nothing on my face except for one brow. Um... So, just sketch it out, sketch it out. Who else likes bold brows? Hi from Argentina. Negative comments will be blocked. Hi from Morocco. I want to go to Morocco. That'd be so cool. Once I get these brows on and stuff, I'll be able to talk more because I, I legit can't breathe when I do brows. Anybody else like that? Or when you do liner? where you just stop breathing. Just stop. Looks so easy, but I can never do it. Looks... Brows literally just take consistent practice. I mean, you should see my brow evolution game from like, junior high to now I swear I should just put a picture together for every single year it's so funny I have a serious brow evolution game going on okay so now that we've got this first part laid down pomade dries too quick I use pencil bold brows and pass a <laughs> you know what? I actually love pencil. I really do. I really, really do. Poland! IDK, why people put makeup on? Any thoughts? Keeps sharing. Because makeup's fun. So much fun. Okay, so this is just um, brow powder. It's by Indigo Cosmetics. If you guys don't know who they are, they're absolutely amazing. It's I-N-D-I-G-O Indigo Cosmetics on um, Instagram, Facebook, and all of that stuff. So, I love the outline. Thanks! Okay, now I'm going in to set the um, dip brow with powder. So I have really oily skin, so I am a fan of very matte, everything matte, um, because my oils will throughout the day come through and give me like a natural dewy effect. So I like pack everything with powder. Hi, I'm from Chile, love your eyebrows, thank you. Um, but it, is not easy love your makeup thank you so much hi from Wichita Falls where's that at is that is there waterfalls over there because I love some waterfalls watching live for the first time all the way from New Zealand I have a bunch of friends from New Zealand those of you guys who are just joining us I um, am from Sweden and I'm mixed. 
I'm a mutt. You probably would never guess my nationality. Uh, my mom's full Swedish and my dad's black and Puerto Rican. I am a mutt. My hair is naturally super, super, super curly. Hello from Pasadena, California. Bold is better. Yes, I have actually my makeup studio in Pasadena. It's called the Makeup Artist Lounge. Um, coming from Madagascar. Woohoo! All right. Barcelona. Oh, girl. Ireland. Oh, I'm coming to Ireland. I'm supposed to be going out there for a photo shoot. I've never been to Ireland. I've always wanted to go. I feel like I want a boyfriend from Ireland or something. <laughs> Can you read my comments, please? Sunshine, hi. What, really? I'm gonna search it. Yes, um, um, Makeup Artist Lounge. Um, it's me and uh, one of my girlfriends. We own it, and um, um, we are giving the celebrity experience to everyone. Hello from Kentucky. <laughs> Chicago. That's what's up. Okay, so now I've set the brows with powder. So, <laughs> those of you guys <coughs> tuning in, I first went in with KTB Cosmetics Dip Brow. And then I went over it with the Indigo Cosmetics um, Brow Powder. Um, this one is in dark brown, but it's got like a blondish brown on one side. And then this is the dark brown brow gel from KTB Cosmetics. KTB Cosmetics is awesome, especially for people who are like MAC lovers. It's pretty much the exact same thing, just half the price. Hey girl, lovely to meet you from New Zealand. Eyebrows are on point. Thank you so much. Um, let's see here. I have a very oily skin as well and have trouble finding a good matte base. What do you recommend? and help um well matte base just using my matte primer for sure um i use a lot of cream makeup i'm team cream all the way uh technically if you're oily skin i guess that liquid should be better but i just i love cream um and then really good powder um you can visit me in ireland so you can do my brows <laughs> girl i got you i got you okay so now that we have the brows almost done because now I'm actually going to carve out my brows with concealer. So, um, like I said, I am a working makeup artist, so I work out of palettes like this. So these ones are concealers. These ones are Graftobian. If you guys are not familiar with Graftobian, it's like just so absolutely amazing. So I'm going to scoop out some here. Put it on the back of my hand. So this brush does not exist anymore, but it was a brand from Australia, and it's called Lorelei Beauty, and this brush is called Elegance, but this is the perfect brush for um, carving out brows I am absolutely in love with it but any brush that has a rounded tip and flat at it is uh, at the top like super flat and then rounded not square you're gonna get a nice carve out um, what about brand wise for those bases for cream foundation um, I love RCMA I love Graftobian um, I love Makeup Forever Cream Foundation Sticks, Bobbi Brown. So we're going to carve this out. So if you're someone who doesn't have a super steady hand, it's okay when you do your brows with a dip brow or pencil or powder or whatever and it doesn't look really nice because you can always go back in and you carve it out with concealer. See how it just cleans everything right up. Okay, 
Please don't be offended, but what is the Walt Disney on your hand? But is that Walt Disney? Yes, of course. Of course it's Walt Disney on my hand. Look, I tell people all the time. I am a Disney lifestyler. It's like a vegan. Someone's a vegan or a vegetarian. I'm a Disney lifestyler. It's a way of life. You know, we are happy all the time. We believe in happily ever afters. We believe in magic and happy endings. Um... Sorry, can't breathe <laughs> when I'm carving out the brows. All my tattoos are Disney themed. I have a half sleeve. That's all the Disney bought Marvel characters. Um, yeah. All right, I can breathe now. <laughs> I love Disney too. How do I watch this from the start? I think you can watch it from the start once it's over and published. Then you can watch it from the beginning. Um, I love Disney too all the way. Yeah, yes. Where's all my Disney lovers? Please. Woo -hoo. Mm -hmm. If you guys go to my Snapchat, I put all my social media up above. Um, if you go to my Snapchat right now, the entire story is all Disney. I was at Disney till midnight last night. What type of foundation would you recommend for sensitive skin? For sensitive skin, um, I guess I would say any mineral-based makeup, but it kind of just depends on what type of sensitivity that there is, you know? Like, are you sensitive to oils? Are you sensitive to something being too dry like your face being too dry um doesn't need more oils like all of that comes into play so everybody all of my clients everything's customized based off of what their skin needs um but really ultimately it's all just about taking care of your skin skin care um <coughs> so um making sure that you take your makeup off at night um and um, make sure that you moisturize and um, exfoliate at least once to twice a week. Get facials, you know, all of that stuff matters when it comes to your skin. Okay, so I just took the rest of the concealer down over my eyelid. Perfect eyebrows, you're really good. Thank you. Disney is life. Yes, it is. All about Aladdin. Yes, I'm getting a half sleeve of Aladdin. Aladdin and Little Mermaid are everything to me, and especially Aladdin. Um... And I have Tinkerbell and Periwinkle right here. It's not done yet, though. Um, yeah, and then I have Tinkerbell on my side, and then with her pointing her wand, it's a pixie dust trail that goes around it that says Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust. Just saying. Love the Lion King, too. I love the Lion King. This girl is so amazing. Make sure to share. Yes, please, you guys. Share, share, share. Hi, Angelica. I love you too, boo. Who is your favorite Disney character? Hmm. My favorite, I guess my ultimate favorite Disney character would have to be Princess Jasmine. But it's very hard, I feel, to choose a favorite. I would just narrow it down to my favorite Disney movies. Um, it's three. Is, um... Um, 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 Little Mermaid, Aladdin, and Frozen. Now, Frozen is dear to my heart because it's from Sweden and um, Norway. It's it's from my country, so it's very dear to my heart. Um, okay, so I'm going to go in with this palette first on my eyes. It is the Transition Palette by Pinky Rose Cosmetics, the Sunflower Palette. So it's very fall inspired looks um, and colors so we've I'm gonna be using out of this one the transition which is the center color I'm using butterfly um, on set um, heartless right here and blog life okay and then I'm also probably gonna jump into the be Bella pro cosmetics slayette palette which looks like this and I'm going to be jumping into probably this one and this one here. And maybe a little bit of the gold, the golds here. 
just everything's gonna be really really full um how long have you been doing makeup about 15 years um do you like the original like disney original channel movies and the tv shows well yes i do disney channel's life but old school disney channel was 10 times better than today's but the disney channel original movies yes they're absolutely amazing my favorite all-time disney character is cruella de vil um cruella de vil um I feel she represents everything in the fashion and makeup world. I'm obsessed. You know what? I agree with that. She really does. She's real fabulous. So I'm going to start in the center of my eyelid here. And just blend. How do you do your brows? My brows, I go in first with dip brow and sketch out my brows completely. And then I go in and I set it with powder and then carve them out with concealer. Don't Look Under the Bed is my favorite old school Disney Channel movie. Oh my god, I love Don't Look Under the Bed, which is kind of creepy because I am terrified of the big man, but I love that movie. Absolutely love it. I, yes, I agree. I miss the old Disney. I love that they brought back um, uh, That's a Raven, but like Raven's Home, the new version of it. I love Boy Meets World, um, and I do like Girl Meets World. Um yeah i miss even stevens oh my god do you have kids no i do not have children actually i have a dog and that i might as well have a child because you know she's very needy and she's my baby i'm absolutely obsessed with her and i have a maltese so she's all white um she's 15 years old and so I've had her since I was a freshman in high school and I made I turned her into a service dog so I could take her anywhere I want to. My dad my daughter and I are watching from Minnesota. Hi. Um hi Izzy. Would you have any contouring tips for re for beginners please? Yes, I will get to that once I get to my face. Phil of the future. Yo, that is a throwback right there. Um can we see oh, can we see uh I was Disney banned because of Raven. She made me too sassy. <laughs> I love that. I love the Cheetah Girls. Oh my God. Friggin' Sister Sister. What's Sister Sister Disney? I don't even know. I put it in the same category. Um, Twitches. Oh my God. The, oh my God. The Halloween Disney Channel original movies are everything. So Twitches, Twitches 2. Um, um, I believe it's what unwrapped or whatever the mummy one um, the haunted mansion like I'm so excited for all of that watching from the Philippines awesome I'm gonna come to the Philippines it's so beautiful out there I love Little Mermaid I'm obsessed with Little Mermaid what did you use on your eyebrows KTB cosmetics dip brow and um, and uh, indigo cosmetics eyeshadow uh, brow powder uh, I absolutely love the makeup that was done on Angela Jolie Maleficent. Oh my god, yes. That's everything. Halloween Town! I have them all on DVD. All of them. I don't know if she's Disney, but I've always loved Pocahontas. Yes, she is Disney, and I do love Pocahontas. Seriously, if you guys go to my Snapchat right now and see it before the end of tonight, you guys are going to be in love. Um, I snapped everything. <laughs> so... Yes, Cheetah Girls is my fave, and high school, oh, high school musical, yo. Why this lady asking, why do you do, why do you talk so much? Somebody asked why I talk so much? I don't know. <laughs> Halloween Town, hello. Watching from Ohio, absolutely love your makeup, totally on fleek, thank you. Um, okay, so this is just my base color, okay? My transition color. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to deepen it <clears throat> even more. All right, so now that was um, Butterfly that I put on. Now I'm going to go jump into On Set. What is your Snapchat? The Nicole Ray. The T-H-E Nicole N-I-C-H-O-L-E-R-A-Y. All of Disneyland is on there right now. I'm telling you guys. I don't know why the screen dimmed for me. 
watching from Ireland how long do you usually take to do your makeup to do my makeup okay it kind of depends I could take anywhere from 20 minutes or to two hours it just depends on how I feel that day my husband said you're so beautiful oh thank you my daughter is obsessed with high school musical so even though I have no kids me and kids we click like we're homies I have a goddaughter and a godson, and we are homies all day, like, just, beauty, you is perfect, thank you so much, you should have told her, this is my live, um, don't know that language, I just remember, Xenon girl from the 21st century, <gasps> and Z3, oh my gosh, like, Xenon the sequel, like, that was everything. Seriously, though. Hey, from New Jersey. Where are you from? I am from Sweden, and I live in California in North Hollywood. You're going so fast on your eyes. Slow down. Okay, um, I just laid down my transition color. That's it. And then I laid down a darker orange. And I'm just blending that in. Uh, what part of New Zealand are your friends from? I'm from Christchurch, New Zealand. I don't know what area they're from. I have no idea. And I want to go out there. I am very big on travel. I've been to Iceland. I absolutely love it. I want to go again and have like a whole week in Iceland. Um... Yes. Watching from Colorado. I'm actually coming to Colorado for my makeup seminar. <clears throat> Don't know the date yet, so definitely you have to check up on my social media with that. Um, keep talking. That is how we get to know you. Aw, thanks. I can't understand some of your words because here we talk in Arabic. I, oh, I want to learn your language, but that's hard. <laughs> okay. So now that I have my transition color down, which is the lighter orange, and then I have my medium color down, which is the darker orange, now I'm going to jump into Heartless, which is this color right here. Where are you now, hun? Uh, I'm in Cali. California. That's where I'm at. Pretty eyebrows, watching from Jersey. You go, girl. I love you. Thank you so much. Okay, so going in with this red color, the burgundy. Why is this? Um, so weird. I feel like that's an iPhone thing. I'm new to iPhone. So we are just buffing in this burgundy color. And we're just going to keep layering. We're going to create that depth. And I'm going to add some glitter to this. Hi from Puerto Rico. Oh, I'm part Puerto Rican. My dad's black and Puerto Rican. I do not speak Spanish though. Watching from Utah. Awesome. I've always wanted to travel to LA. Um, how are you? So I live in Washington, but I go to Oregon. Oh, I'm up in Oregon all the time in Portland. I head up the hair and makeup department for Portland Fashion Week and Paint the Runway Purple and Vancouver Fashion Week. I absolutely love it up there. I'm so sad about your guys' fire that happened. All those beautiful trees. Um, what you dress in as for Halloween? Honestly, I actually don't really get to do much for Halloween because I'm booked with makeup appointments and hair appointments. So, not a lot. Um, okay, so now that I've done this a burgundy color, now I'm going to go in with Blog Life here. So this darker, darker chocolate burgundy-ish color. 
and I'm going to layer this in on the outer edge first first time viewing from Texas I just got back from Texas I had my makeup seminar in Dallas so I'm currently on my US tour of my makeup seminars I've already done Kansas City Missouri Portland Oregon Vancouver Washington Dallas Texas and I just did California the next one is Colorado and then I have um, I have Atlanta coming up um, uh, Hawaii I'll be in Hawaii November for a bodybuilding competition because I do hair and makeup for a lot of bodybuilding shows so I travel all over for that and Hawaii is like November 1st through the 5th and I've never been to Hawaii so I'm really excited about that <laughs> Dallas woo -woo. Chicago I absolutely love Chicago been there I want to come do a makeup seminar in Chicago as well I came in January not of this year but it was January so it was like a really cold and I get it why they call you guys the Windy City I really do okay now I'm gonna dip into this layette palette that I was telling you guys about jump in here get a little bit more chocolate brown going on and we're just gonna really pack that in again you said Disney is watching why would you say that Disney well Mississippi I love you so much but I have to sleep now okay go to sleep I have no idea where you are so I'm assuming it's really late watching from Devada City Philippines Jamaica So is anybody else absolutely in love with fall and like oversized sweaters and fuzzy boots and comfiness and pumpkin spice lattes because I am it's my favorite time and Christmas so just going in with this darker brown I'm blending blending what inspired me to become a makeup artist well to be honest with you I told my mother I was born with my stilettos first so I felt really bad for her and makeup brushes in my hand and a blow dryer in my other hand so ever since I was a kid <laughs> I have been obsessed with hair and makeup so how normal kids would have their dolls and their Barbies and their toys and sit and play with that I would tear mine apart with sharpies and flat irons and melt their hair and stuff like that because I was just destined to be a hair and makeup artist and like I've literally been playing with makeup my entire life and I've always had a makeup box with me since I was like three um, legit and I just I have never stopped growing my kit and then once I hit junior high that's when we started having um, you know dances and stuff like that so my friends would have me do their hair and makeup for the dances and um, and then once I hit freshman year freshman year I became a cheerleader a dancer competing choir and all of that so it trickled on over to that and I would get the entire squad and team ready for performances and shows and it just kept going from there on and on and on so I've always been known for hair and makeup through with my friends and everything um, hi from me and my sister in Oklahoma oh I've been to Oklahoma hi um, oh, your dog lol on snapchat oh you see her? she was just giving me a hard time today just taking off on her own because I never put her on a leash I'm not trying to put her on a leash poor thing like you know she 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 should be able to like roam by herself um, shout out watching from the Philippines yo a lot of Philippines up in here and I'm trying to come visit there because I see all the Facebook travel videos for the Philippines and I'm jealous so now guys I'm going in with um, transition the middle color here just on the outer rim of my of my eyeshadow um, 
Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Louisa. So, yeah, I'm just um, blending all this in. We're going to go in with some glitter, some serious glitter. So I always do my eyes first, obviously, because you see all the fallout happening. So I'm going to go in with um, the Long Island Glitter by LA Splash Cosmetics. And these little bottles I love because they remind me of the Snitch from Harry Potter. First time watching. Hi, Kimberly. I need to be in Jamaica with my dad getting a tan. Oh, me too. Thank you, Jenny. Um, so can you guys see that? I don't want to tip it over, but because it'll just pour out. But it's so pretty. Okay. So I'm going to go in with that. And then I'm going to also be using, hello, I love your makeup and enjoy watching you from Singapore. Oh, snap. That's what's up. So I'm going in with a Too Faced Glitter Glue. Just going to squeeze that out of my hand. <laughs> Love the way you do your makeup. Thank you. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is a Princess Jasmine mirror. Um, when they had the Disney line that came out and they got busted for it and they don't have it anymore. But it says, shut your eyes and take a chance like on the mirror. Um, and it's really heavy, but it came in the Aladdin collection. So now I'm just dipping in with my finger to the glitter glue. And I'm going to tap this in the center here. That's why I avoided the center. I didn't care about any of that. And I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. Okay. And I am going to add the glitter. And tap this in. Right into the center. I am obsessed with glitter! Okay. Going into the other eye. And I'm just tapping it in the center of my eye and then fading out the glue to the edges. Just like that. All right. So, now that we're glitterified, what type of look are you going for today? I'm going for like an autumn inspired look. So, you know, browns, like warm browns, oranges, golds, all of that. Just really autumn feeling. Shout out from DXB. That's pretty. Latoya says doing a follow look. She's doing a follow look. Oh. Can you tell me the name of that, please? Of the glitter? The glitter is um, LA Splash Cosmetics. The crystallized glitter. And it's called um, Long Island. The name of this glitter is called Long Island. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Cosmetics Primer. Um, this one, I'm just using it to clean up underneath my eyes. It'll remove anything that you don't want there. And then just swipe it away. I don't have makeup wipes, so... If for any reason you don't have makeup wipes, this is an alternative because it comes right off. See? Just like that. Dubai! Woo! What's up? 
Tell, can you tell me the name of that palette? The eyeshadow palette is Be Bella Cosmetics Slayette. And then the other palettes, I use two palettes. It's called um, the Sunflower Palette from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. All right, there we go on this part. Okay, so now we are gonna jump in to the face. And I really just don't know why it's so dim on my end. Um, from El Paso, Texas, love your look, thank you. I drove through there. I did a um, road trip and from California to Houston, and man, I will never do that again. That that drive was brutal. Twenty six hours in a car. Oh God! Like, okay. So now we're jumping into the face. I am going to be using. RCMA Cosmetics. Just like I told you guys, I am a working makeup artist, so all my stuff is out of palettes. So I'm using the RCMA palette, and when you open it up, it is a bunch of foundations. So I mix a few to get my color, because I'm kind of like in between colors right now. And I scoop it all out with my handy dandy spatula. And then I just smush it on the back of my hand. And this foundation needs to be warmed up. So that's why I put it on the back of my hand and really work it in. And then it creams up a little bit more. Um, love the glitter. Shout out from New Mexico. What's up? Where can you get that foundation palette? So that one is at Namie's in uh, Van Nuys, the Burbank area. If you go online, namiesbeauty.com, they might have it that size they have a smaller one for sure I just don't know if this one that size is on their website or not and then I have another palette here so I'm gonna dip into this one as well cocktail a color together this palette I created and that one's all Graftobian and I just mix the two together yeah. okay so this is one of my favorite um, brushes to apply foundation it is the Morphe E8 from the Elite Collection and I just dip into it and then I go on but hold on I need to prep my face so I'm all getting ahead. So I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finishing Primer Water just to hydrate my face. Oops. Just doing that. I got like sparkle all over my face, but like, I don't even care. Don't care. And then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Primer and I'm gonna hit my face with primer. I'm not sure what that says because I don't speak Spanish. Love your tattoos, thank you. I want more like yesterday I'm gonna be I'm gonna be blasted eventually I have over 30 tattoos but they're like you can't really tell unless I wear a bathing suit how tatted I am all right so now I'm gonna go in with the foundation okay so I just buff it in
Do you sell your palette that you created? No, it's just I buy the Graftobian and I buy the empty case and I buy the different colors and then I depot them into a palette. So when I buy this palette, this palette is empty and then I just put my different foundation colors in it. I am coming out with my own cosmetic line that will be launching hopefully next year. So if you guys want to check that out, um, it's on Facebook and Instagram. It's called Enchanted Couture Cosmetics. Obviously, I'm a Disney lover. You know, so what better name to have for your cosmetics? I've already been doing sneak peek previews on some of the products that are going to be coming out first. And it's going to be um, sold kind of like how Kylie Jenner and Jeffree Star's cosmetics is. So it's not going to be available in store like that. It's more collections and once it's sold out, it's like sold out. Is Elf your favorite primer? Um, you know what? It pretty much yes, it is. Cuz I've used so many different primers. Like, you know, designer, name brand, whatever. It's the same some a lot of them are the same thing. You're just paying for the name. And Elf is such a good affordable brand and still has good quality when it comes to the primers um, and I also use their brow contour uh, kits as well but yes I absolutely do love their primers and this brush is just so perfect to apply foundation Morphe what do you have on your brows I missed it I have KTB cosmetics dip brow with indigo cosmetics brow powder on my brows what do you think of Kylie Jenner's makeup line honestly I don't own anything from Kylie Jenner I have tried my cousin has some of her stuff and I have tried it the only the lip thing and they're actually pretty good I just think they're a little overpriced but they are good um, love your eyebrows. Thank you. You have a very beautiful skin. Thank you. Disney lover here too. Kind of addicted to playing Disney. Too soon, too soon to uh, love your live makeup tutorial right now. Thank you. Um, I don't play that game. I did have it. I do play Disney Bitmoji, which is kind of like Candy Crush, but Disney. And when you win or as you move a level, um, you get Disney emojis. So I have a bunch of Disney emojis in my in my text messages and stuff like that um thank you do you like beauty blenders yes I'm actually gonna go in and use a beauty blender once I get this all on you'll see I'm gonna show you right now and you're gonna be like oh yeah you like beauty blenders are you ready so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab a beauty blender and this one I've already dampened. Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> are your eyes naturally that color? Yes, they are. What do you think of Jeffree Star Cosmetics? I absolutely love Jeffree Star Cosmetics. His lips, liquid lips are absolutely amazing. I love the highlighters. I do have the eyeshadow palettes too. Um, is your makeup line going to be affordable? Yes, it is. Um, oh wow, um, hi Nicole, hi Bees, hi, how are you? So now I just go in, once I've applied that, I'm going in with the Beauty Blender, just to even everything out really nicely, and then I'm going to go in with my highlight and my contour. So I know that somebody earlier asked me what's like a easy tip for beginners for highlight and contour. And honestly, it's just, I always put the foundation color down and I put a little bit of contour. And then, it, like, it's always just buildable. So start a little bit and then move your way up from there. Uh, Jeffree Star Size is amazing. The highlighters I bought were, uh, yes, they're like the size of your hand. They're awesome. Shared first time watching. Rihanna has just bought out her makeup line, too. Um, yes, I actually went to the store today to get Trophy Wife, the highlighter. It was sold out. <laughs> from Rihanna's line 
Um, hi, do you do makeup for weddings? Yes, I do. I'm actually booked mo uh, six months in advance for all my weddings. People try to book me a year out, but I don't book a year out. It's six months or sooner because I don't know where I'm going to be in a year. And I don't want to lock myself down for that. Nice tattoo. Says, thank you. Um, OMG, I love her. She's awesome. Teacher. Ah, hey, boo. Um, you remind me of Paige from the show Degrassi. Oh, my God. That's a throwback right there. I freaking love Degrassi. Okay, so now I'm going back into this palette. And I'm going to go two shades lighter for my... Um, uh, concealer and highlights. Um, can we can just message you to book? Yes, you can message me. Um, and then I send you my bridal package. Um, how do you like Ruby's makeup line? I haven't tried it, you know, but I've been seeing all my friends test it out and everything, and I I want to get it. Um, so now I'm just going in with the lighter color underneath my eyes excuse me I'm sick guys just so you know I guess I said it earlier in the video I've been sick for two weeks and I'm towards the end of it but I'm still a little sick <laughs> but I wasn't gonna cancel this live I'm like nope we're going on sick all right so then I tap on the light. You see how it just like brightens up the face. Like I have nothing here. And then it's like lighter there. Um, so I'm going to tap this in over here. And I just bring it all the way up. Yep. And then my chin, Cupid's bow. Um, oh, I can't speak Spanish. I feel better. Take care of yourself. Thanks. What is the time over there in LA right now? I think it's like three something or four. Um, what color, what contour palette did you use? I haven't used any contour yet. No, but I'm going to be using the Crown Pro. Uh, contour palette um, I'll show you that right now this is all the foundation and highlight okay then I go back in with my beauty blender my booty blender yeah I think someone's knocking No? No, I guess not. Maybe that was next door. Um, that's not um that's not Spanish. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> hey boo, I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. I really like your makeup. Thank you. It's 10:47 a.m. here in New Zealand. Oh, snap. Well, good morning. I just tap out my highlight. Alright. Just like this. Okay, now I'm going to go into the contour. This is the contour palette I'm going to jump into. Okay. It is the Crown Pro Cream foundation palette so you can get this on their um, website it's crownbrush.com I believe uh, do I do I have a YouTube channel yes I do the Nicole Ray um, it's tagged above um, what's your Facebook you what's your name on Facebook Nicole Ray artistry on Facebook do you know when we will be teaching on do you know when you will be teaching on Sundays I teach every Sunday, every Sunday, 9 a.m. to 1, and then 
2 p.m. to 6 p.m. every Sunday. Okay, so now I'm going in with the contour color. And I use the same brush. So I always start from the foundation color, then to the lightest, and then the contour last because it's the darkest color. Um, it's 11.45 p.m. here in Ireland. Contouring tip for beginners, please. Um, so yes, so I laid down my foundation and my highlight. Now I just put my contour color here on the uh, end of my hand. And I'm literally just gonna go in. You always wanna start at the top of your ear. That's your starting point for your contour. And then you come angled down. That Because if you start right here and come across, it's, it's too low, it's gonna drop your face. Um, she said hello, she wants to follow you. She is from Argentina, she likes your your, your patient attitude and you are very cool. I was Spanish language, but she is from Argentina. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because I had no idea what it said. Um, yes, I teach for a living, so I'm totally fine with um, repetitiveness and repeating myself and going over things again that I've already gone over. You are not done, but you look amazing, boo. Thank you. So I'm starting at the top of my ear for my contour. So where, like, you'll, my hair right here is in the way, so I'm not going to start right there, right below it. And I am just going to buff my contour. Okay, just like this. And I don't want to come underneath my nose. So I'm coming right here. It's lining up with my nose. And then once I do that, then I go in with my beauty blender. And then I'll tap everything out. That way it's not overpowering, you know what I'm saying? Love from Scotland, oh hey! So same thing over here, where my hairline is above my ear. And just buff it. I see a lot of people go in like, you know, extremely dark or extremely light, and it makes it hard for like beginners to um, blend properly and get a nice look. So try only just one shade darker, one shade lighter, or two shades darker and two shades lighter. And it'll come out really nice. Um, nice teaching. Where do you teach your classes at? I teach at Ruby Makeup Academy in Upland, California. And then I'm currently on my US makeup tour and I hold makeup seminars in every state. And I always promote when I'm coming to a state. So definitely if you guys want to keep updated with me on that and if I'm coming to your state or your country, for sure follow me. Um, thank you for the tips girl, I appreciate it. Love from Houston, Texas. You look amazing. Makeup takes my mind off of the disaster we got oh I know oh my god I feel so bad for you guys I actually just sent three massive boxes over to Houston um, I can never get my eyeshadow to blend nicely any tips it's all about layers always layers don't be afraid to put a lot of product on and keep going over it with the different colors until it's fully pigmented at the end of the day, you guys, makeup comes off, so it's fun. Pack it on there, you know? Why not? Okay, so see, it, my face is contoured, but it's not overly contoured. Um, come to Ireland, you look fabulous. I will be coming to Ireland, actually, because my photographer that I work with a lot, he's moving there, and so he's going to be bringing me out for some photo shoots. Um, how long your makeup? How long does it take for me to do my makeup, I think you're asking? Um, it depends. I can take anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours. It really just depends on how I feel. Um, you look very pretty. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so amazing. Okay, so now I just go over my entire face with the Beauty Blender to make sure that I have a nice blend. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the Becca. Um, 
Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. This one, I'm only going to go in with a little bit underneath my eyes. Only under the eye. Hello from Columbus, Ohio. When you come into Ireland, love to learn about makeup. Hopefully soon, beautiful fall look. Makeup is really awesome. Thank you. I really want to go to Ireland soon. And I just like tap this out. I fly with a Wow Air. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. It's a brand new airline. And um, it is a hot pink plane, a hot pink airline. It's pretty freaking awesome. And they go to Ireland. Okay, so I just brightened up underneath my eyes. Um, do you ever bake? No, I do not. I never bake. Because, oh, they're actually, okay, one time I baked, and that was in... Houston, Texas, because it was so humid. Um, other than that, no, I do not. Um, hello from New Zealand. You are so gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now that I have this blended out, now, now I'm going to set my face. So I'm going to cocktail something together. So I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, and then I also have the Ben I Luxury ben, uh, Powder. And I'm going to pour that in here and mix it because the trans I'm too tan for translucent. It'll make me look like I've seen a ghost. And sometimes the yellow is too yellow. So I cocktail them together. Um, what foundation do you recommend for women over 50 and dark circles? Um, cream. It's full coverage. Um, and then also a full coverage liquid foundation like Marc Jacobs. I always wondered how people get such a definite color on the eyes for their eyeshadow. So the secret is to keep layering. I will have to try that next time. Thanks for the tips. Makeup looks fabulous. Thank you. Most of my makeup got destroyed in the flooding. I can't wait to get some more. I just... Oh my god. Um, I will come to New Zealand. It's happening. Okay, so I just mixed it together. I only had like a very little bit left, so I just poured it in here. So now, before I set, I'm going to make sure that my creases are blended out underneath my eyes because if you set when those creases, those creases are there. There's You can blend to your heart's content. They're not going anywhere. So you want to buff it out first before you set with powder. And then I just dip into my powder. And make sure that everything is set really good. And I just really push it into the skin. Okay, Liz, I'm having a late lunch at CPK. I'm watching you. I love CPK. Um, makeup giveaways. Yes, I've done a few. Um, hello from Spain. Ooh, hey, Spain. Okay. Then I'm going to set the bridge of my nose. Okay. Cupid spell. Chin. And I always, I need Botox, I swear. So I just lift my forehead back, blend out the creases from my expression lines, and then I set with powder. Just like this. Okay, just like that. Alright, now I go in with a big brush. 
when will you have another makeup giveaway lost mine in a flooding i'm not sure isn't that kind of baking no because baking you leave it on i am dusting this away um you so don't need botox <laughs> no you don't need you are beautiful thank you um hello from bulgaria I've seen a lot of makeup videos, but yours is the best I've seen. Love you. Oh, thank you. So now I'm going in with a big fluffy brush. This is my baby, okay? This is the Morphe G Zero. Absolutely amazing. And I just used the big one to go all over the face. Hi, from Colombia. Your makeup is so beautiful. Thank you. Hi, what's your Snapchat? The Nicole Ray is my Snapchat. The the T H E Nicole N I C H O L E R A Y. The Nicole Ray. That's also my YouTube channel and my Twitter. Mm -hmm. And then Facebook and Instagram and my website is Nicole Wright Artistry. Okay, so now that I have this set, now I'm gonna go in and contour a little bit with powder. So I'm gonna go in with Pure Cosmetics, which this you can get at Kohl's or you can get it online um, um, on their Instagram. Oh, it's funny when I get closer, it gets darker. Yeah. Um, anyways, this is the 4-in-1 Press Mineral Makeup, and I just like to use it for contour, okay? Hello from Massachusetts. Please come to Massachusetts ASAP. You're amazing. I need your help to feel better about myself. <laughs> um, I will try to come to Massachusetts. I'm going to throw that on the list. Um, let's see here. So now I'm going to contour. Beautiful looking this looking this look flawless thank you first time watching but just tuning in I'll have to rewatch to catch up from the beginning yes definitely okay contouring all I'm gonna do is just warm up um, what I already did so I'm just taking the contour you always want to start back at the hairline because if you go in and try to start here what happens is all the product that's sitting on your brush gets deposited in this one spot and it's a nightmare to blend away so you always want to start back here and then buff your way down that's how you want to do that so always start at the hairlines and then work your way down Just like that. And I'm just warming up my face a little bit. Because I already contoured with cream, so. Are you a MUA? Yes, I am. I am a working makeup artist and hairstylist. I've been doing hair and makeup for um, 15 years, and I went to cosmetology school, um, and I also went to a makeup school, plus self-taught on top of that, and merged everything together. I still learn all the time. So now I'm gonna be contouring my nose, and I'm just gonna follow the bridge of my nose. I don't like to over contour, it's just a little bit, just to bring it out. And across the tip. All right. So now that I've done that, now I'm going to jump into doing my eyeshadow underneath my eyes. Um, where are you from? How old are you? I am 28 years old. 28. Um, yeah. And um, I am from Sweden, living in Cali. Okay, um, 
Where are your favorite brushes? So my favorite makeup brushes are the Morphe Elite Collection, the Morphe Gunmetal Collection, and then the Morphe, um, the Yellow Gold Collection, the ones that look like this. They have a Y. And then the Crown Brush Pro Collection, the Pro one. Um, someone can write Right, is Instagram, please, because I'm French and I don't understand what it is. Um, what's your name? My name is Nicole Ray. Um, gorgeous, loving this video. What foundation do you have on? I have RCMA foundation on, and then with um, Becca concealer. Um, and okay, yeah. So, uh, Brittany Russell put down my Instagram, my Facebook and my uh, website on here. It's Nicole Ray Artistry. She just wrote it, if you guys see it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with this little detailer brush, and I'm gonna go in with that warm brown right underneath my eyes. Okay, so we're gonna fill this out. It's so good to see a video from a professional. It's so annoying to see videos that are just adding makeup on without technique. I love your makeup. Thank you. Um, OMG, the glitter girl. <laughs> um, yes. Um, when I teach my classes to my students, that's one thing I really like to touch on because a lot of people are learning their makeup techniques from YouTubers who are not makeup artists. They're just influencers. They don't they don't take clients. And what happens is is they do a lot of things that just you wouldn't do in real life. And it um and then they learn that way and then you know they mess up a lot and it's not their fault or anyone's fault it's that they're learning the wrong way. But um So now I'm just laying down the brown underneath my eyes. And then I blend out. Okay. Um, please teach me. Okay, I will. Um, I love you all. Thank you. Um, eyebrows are legit on point. Thank you so much. Do you teach just one day classes? Um, no, they are a 15 week course, but they do have a crash course, which is seven days. Um, it's like the 15 weeks into seven days. Um, you should come to Alabama. I'm down to come to Alabama. That would be fun. To do a uh, hold a makeup seminar up there, and then also you know you can't do the same makeup on everyone. Everybody's got different face shapes, different eye shapes, and stuff like that. So there's certain looks that look more flattering on, you know, your face shape. You know, so can you give me some examples of things that maybe picked up online that are considered wrong to uh, professionals um, she's an instructor at Ruby Makeup Academy all my one of my students is on here yes so what is considered wrong so you know how you guys see people um, uh, color correcting with like Christmas green and lipstick red they'll take like a red lipstick and put like red and green all over their face and they're like oh I'm color correcting my face um, that's incorrect you don't do that in real life. Um, you use pastel colors, like a mint green and um, like a pink almost, not actual red, like it's a baby pastel pink um, and lavender, like baby purple um, and stuff like that. That's how you color correct and you don't use a lot. It's very, very little and you have to spot correct your face, not just paint your face with all these color correcting things because that's like what people think is a thing to do that's one thing baking is not a real thing um 
the only time that I ever baked was because I was in Houston, Texas, and it was so humid that I was legit pouring sweat. It was disgusting. And so I left the powder on my face until I got there and then dusted it off. But then my oils came right back through. That's the only time I ever did that. Baking soaks up all the oils and moisture out of your makeup and your face. So it causes it to crack. Like, it's just especially under the eyes that's not like a real thing um and then um doing the same highlighting and contouring placements for all the same for everyone's face the same exact way no the highlighting contour placements is different for every face shape everybody's face is unique so you need to know where to place it otherwise you're going to deform someone's face like it just doesn't work that way um let's see here what's prettier your makeup or those tattoos <laughs> your hair color is nice which color is this my hair color I do myself um, I'm a hair color specialist as well and it's like three different colors it's blonde and then a natural ash brown and like this warm brown color so it's just a lot um, undertones yes undertones is a huge deal uh, people will throw on um, a cool tone foundation over everyone's face or whatever and be like oh yeah this is my color and it's like no it's not you have to go off of your undertone you're either a warm or a cool undertone so if you put warm on top of a cool you're gonna look like you have a sunburn if you put cool on top of a warm you're gonna look like you've seen a ghost and that you just have no pigment to your face you know what I'm saying so it's like those things matter and on a lot of YouTube channels yeah kind of gets lost in transit uh, translation um yay i'm color correcting the right way awesome what is your favorite lipstick brands and colors do you like to wear um honestly i'll wear any lip color but brands it's jeffree star cosmetics and lip land cosmetics so lip land i have a promo code with them a 25 percent off code it's nicole ray all together when you go to check out online it'll say promo code discount code or whatever you just type in Nicole Ray all is one all caps and you get 25% off your entire purchase um, they're just really good okay so now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna put lashes on okay so I'm gonna be using Boulevard Beauty I am a dramatic lash kind of girl Thank you for explaining that. It cracks me up when they do all the crazy color correction. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. Try to do that on a client. Seriously, they're going to be like, what is happening to my face right now? Um, boo thing. It's Blanca. Hey, boo. How are you? Got some ruby girls up in the house. Um, is there a quick way to work out what undertone you are? Um, just look at the chest and body and say, like, are you red or yellow? Or green. Red, yellow, or green. Undertone. Um, and then if you're like pale white with a real pink, 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 you're cool. Um, it's a cool undertone. Um, uh, art and it's not necessary. Nope. Nope. Okay. Another way is when you release lashes off of a case, a lot of people will grab lashes here and pull that deforms the lashes. So you want to just hold the lashes like this. Place your thumb dead center of the lashes and pull down and it releases the lash right off of the case. Like this. And it keeps the shape. That's another little thing. So you just release those. Um, where's my scissors? Okay, so another thing too, lashes. You see this little thing sticking out right there? You want to cut it off, and you want to customize lashes. You want to fit them to somebody's face. Um, otherwise, it's going to feel like they have a needle poking in their eye if the lashes are too large, and their eyes will keep watering. Uh, first time I see you, and from here, from here one, I'm on the beauty industry. I'm in the beauty industry as well and everything you are saying is very professional I love your work thank you um, people who become my students and take my 15 week course um, um, they all know I am anal like anal about sanitation uh, not double dipping into your products 
um, all of that stuff. If you're gonna double dip and stuff, make sure that those are your own for your own face. You don't use that on your kit. Um, it's really disgusting. Um, wanna see your nails? Oh God. They've grown out. These are so old. These are a month old. Um, in Mexico, if you ever come teach, I will be glad to translate for you. That will be perfect because girls don't know what's happening. I love Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood. That is my favorite lipstick to wear and the new Wet n Wild um, cat suit. Uh, give me mocha. Ooh, that sounds bomb. I'm going to be going in with the chocolate... Chocolate Rocks from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. And... Uh, Savage from Lip Land. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use Star Glue, okay, for eyelash glue in black, and I am just gonna paint the lashes, the lash band, with the glue. So that way it has time to get a little bit tacky while I do my mascara. And I just let it sit here. Yeah, so I just let that sit and let it get tacky. Oh no. Okay. And I am going to be using the Fully Charged Mascara from Pure Cosmetics, which is one of my favorite mascaras. Okay. This is my mascara. So I put the glue on the lashes first, and then I go in and do my mascara. That way it has time to get a little bit tacky. tweezers is there any tips on putting on lashes yes so okay I take the tweezers I place them right in the center and I drop it in the center first and then tack in my edges all of the eyes so far what's your favorite where's your favorite coffee earrings <gasps> I know I forgot them at my best friend's house in Corona so she has them and I need them back ASAP um, one month but uh, one month but are very pretty and about to make up you're very professional and just want to see the final look so I drop it in the center and then I tack on the edges see and when the eyelash glue is tacky it makes your life easier um, I need to put some more glue on this one because it touched the thing um, because it just sticks and it doesn't glide around <laughs> what lashes are they these ones are Boulevard Beauty and they are Glamorazzi from Boulevard Beauty Saludos. I don't know what that means. What lashes are those? Boulevard Beauty and Glamazari. Glamour, Glamazari. Boulevard Beauty. So pretty. What, like, right? Lashes just make a huge difference. They just bump the whole look to a whole other level. Like, basic? Not basic. I'm not trying to be basic. Okay. So, center first. and then tack in the edges. Now, honestly, don't get discouraged if you have not really put lashes on before because when I first learned to put on lashes, I bought a whole box of lashes and 24 hours in front of my mirror and I had bloodshot eyes by the time I was done teaching myself how to put lashes on. Um, what is the name of the eyelashes? They're called Glamazori. Glam 
Glamorazi, sorry, Glamorazi from Boulevard Beauty. Um, love it. Opinions on setting spray. Yes, girl. I don't get into that setting spray. That's another thing. That is another major thing that people who are not professional makeup artists that do YouTube that are trying to teach people what to do. Um, setting sprays. They really mess up on that. I'm going to touch on it. One girl I watched on YouTube cut her false eyelashes up and then put them on. She looked like a spider. <laughs> you can do that, but you want to make sure that you have nice placement. You know? So, and then I just go back in, make sure everything's really tacked on there. All right, so lashes are on. Okay, so now. I am going to jump into is this the blushes yes okay so again like I said as a working makeup artist everything's out of palettes so I have the Ofra cosmetics professional palettes um, we're gonna jump into the blush palette first so the blush palette looks like this if you guys don't know Ofra cosmetics they're absolutely amazing Okay. I am not a blush person at all so I'm going to be using more of a um, like orangier color like this one and I am just going to tap a tiny bit of color on like a smidget Okay, that's it. I am not a blush person whatsoever. Okay, here. Sharon, I love your eyes. You look so gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to go with mascara underneath my eyes on my bottom lashes. We're almost done here. I'm going to show you guys the most amazing little tip on highlighters. And you're just going to fall in love. all right is blush necessary I never put blush it's just not for me no blush is not necessary it's a personal preference I hate blush on myself so it is you know what it is why do you People drag their blush up like on the side of their face. Not bashing. I just don't know why they do that. Um, some people like it. It's literally personal preference. That's what I just love about makeup. There's no rules at all. Um, they rock it and they own it, I guess. Um, which mobile are you using for your videos? Um, my phone is the new iPhone 7. Um, that's what I'm using. Okay. So, tip with highlighter. I'm going to be going in with Jouer Cosmetics in Champagne Cream Highlighter. Okay? So, it's wet. Um, and I'm going to tap this. So, it's literally, it's a cream. And I'm going to tap this on my cheekbones up here. And I like to bring my highlighter here and around. Kind of like a C shape. That's how I wear my highlighter. So I'm going to tap the cream, okay, all over here, and I'm going to keep tapping until it's fully blended and just looks smooth.
Okay, so like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> yes, my favorite part, the highlighter. This literally changes the highlight game. Like, loose highlighters and pressed highlighters look gorgeous when you put them on, but this just bumps it up. Okay, so now that we have the cream down, okay, now I'm going to go in with the pressed highlighter, which is also by Ofra Cosmetics. If you guys are not familiar with Ofra's highlighters, I'm telling you, you're going to follow up. So this is also the Pro Palette. So this one has all of them um, in here. Rodeo Drive is my favorite, which is this one down here at the bottom. So I will be going in with that. Where's my highlighting brush? So this is my favorite highlighting brush. This one is the Morphe E61. And then I also have another one that I like that's from Crown, which is... Oh, here it is. The Crown C529. So these two are my favorite highlighting brushes. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe today. And I am going to go in with Rodeo Drive. Are you guys ready? Okay. Like, it just seriously picks up all the highlights. So bomb. It just beams. And it just gives this just beauty to it. So you see how I place my highlighter? I go up. It's like a C shape. That's just me. I like it like that. I like it like that. What brand foundation did you use? RCMA and Graftovian. I'm sorry, what I use today, RCMA and Becca Concealer. Glow Girl Shook. Love it. Wow, right. Oh, again? Let's do it again. OMFG. Living for it. Literally everything. Mm -hmm. The door is locked. Open upon it. Stop, stop, stop. Alright. Boom. Okay. My nose. So I don't take it all the way down my nose. I do the tip. the tip and the inner, the inner bridge right there just enough to catch that light now I'm going to pop the glow on the inner corners of the eyes Just like that. Then let me glow on the cheek as well. I look like I got a glow mustache. 
when I put highlighter on, it shows every wrinkle. Um, so the theory is, I'm saying theory because you could still do it. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you want to do. The theory is if you've got wrinkle texture or anything like that, hi, um, it's going to show everything. Um, it just is what it is. That's what a highlighter does. But you can use a matte highlighter, which is just a lighter powder um, that has no shimmer in it, and it won't make it stand out. So if you're older and have wrinkles or if you have a lot of texture, you want to use all matte, no shimmers. Um, I need you to teach me some stuff. Oh, well. Yes, Monica, you try to put setting spray first and then highlight. Beautiful, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going in with the lip color. Okay, this one is um, the Pinky Rose Cosmetics in Chocolate Rocks. I'm doing a chocolate lip. Now, I'm going in with Lip Land Savage on the outer rim. I actually just want to do this one all over. Can you please talk about setting spray before I have to go? Okay, so setting spray. There is a difference between setting spray and hydrating spray. A lot of people on YouTube and sometimes Instagram, once they're finished with their makeup, they will go in and set their face with MAC Fix Plus. MAC Fix Plus is not, not a setting spray. It is a hydrating spray. You spray it before you put your makeup on, or if you're using shimmer pigments and stuff like that, you can spray your makeup brush to pick up the pigment and put it on your face. So when you see people after their videos, like in YouTube or Instagram, they're just like, okay, now that I'm done with my makeup, now I'm gonna set my whole face with MAC Fix Plus. It literally sits on top of their face and does nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing at all. It does not melt down the makeup and set it and lock it in place and get rid of all the powdery up, like look you need an actual setting spray so I use Scandinavia setting spray the one for bridal and this one is the finishing oil control because if you have oily skin um, I also use the Girard cosmetics slay all day um, setting spray and the pure cosmetics miracle mist two-in-one hydrating and setting spray that's the misconception with that. I see so many people using MAC Fix Plus when they're done with their makeup. I'm like, you did nothing. You did nothing. <laughs> it was just for looks. So, what is the best glitter to purchase? I absolutely love Eye Candy Cosmetics. It's one of my favorites. LA Splash is good too. Um, chocolate Lip to go fi find your chocolate. <laughs> I don't use setting spray. I don't find it necessary unless you want a dewy look in my opinion. I don't use setting spray all the time. Um, a lot of the times I do just because I don't want the powdery effect. But, yeah. Um, where are you going tonight? I'm going nowhere. 
<laughs> beautiful lips thank you awesome thanks for sharing that i love the look and all the information you look gorgeous yeah. thank you yes and i overlined the crap out of my lips um with liquid lips you can do that because i have tiny lips and i like full ones Maybe I'll go to the movies. <laughs> what is the best brown lipstick to buy? Honestly, I love Savage. And I like, um, I want to say it's called Dominatrix by Jeffree Star. I want to say that's the brown one. So bomb. Um, say the setting sprays again, please. Scandinavia. Scandinavia. Pure Cosmetics Miracle Mist and Girard Cosmetics Slay All Day. Okay. Am I forgetting anything? Lips, highlighter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face. And you need one of these. Okay, when you set your face. So I'm just going to set here. This is my client's favorite part. All my clients are just like, yay. And I just drench their face and then fan it. But seriously, look at that highlight. And when I put highlight by itself without the cream underneath, it doesn't look like this. It looks pretty, but it don't look like this. Yes, thank you for sharing great tips. There's always something new to learn every day. Yes, there's no such thing in knowing everything with makeup. I still learn. I still take classes from other people. I just got done taking a class in the UK. Like, you can take them everywhere. Um, Daddy by Jeffree Star. I haven't tried that one. Thanks. What is the name of the brand of lipstick that you just used? This is Lip Land. So Lip Land Cosmetics. And you, if you punch in Nicole Ray all together, um, at, at, when you go to purchase, it you get a 25% discount. Glow. You're talented. Thank you. I'm still learning every day, all the time. I do body paint. I do FX. I do airbrushing. I do all of that stuff. So if you guys follow me and check out my stuff, you'll see all of that. I'm published in magazines. I do a lot of photo shoots. Uh, fashion shows. Um, I have a lot of um, artists that I do hair makeup for. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to drop my hair. I use makeup brushes to hold my hair up. My hair is a mess right now. It's all kinks. Huh? Yeah, I'm so. But it's long. This is my fall inspired look. I hope you guys loved it. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today. Um, I know I'm going to be doing this more. So definitely keep a look out and um, check out all of my social media. Follow me. I do lives a lot. Um, I always, um, especially on Snapchat, um, anytime I have things coming up, I always share it there first. Um, but I do a lot of Facebook lives. Um, on different things, you know, different makeup looks, all that fun stuff. Um, let's see here. Let me answer some questions. So if you guys have any, throw them out there. So who have you done makeup for? So I work with a lot of people. I work with um, Chris Brown, Usher, Rick Ross. Um, I do CeeLo Green's makeup along with his wife. Um, I do all of his wife, all of her makeup for her um, shows, shoots, everything. Um, Joy Villa, some of you guys might be familiar with her. Um, she wore the Trump gown on the Grammy carpet. Um, I'm her makeup artist, so I do all of her stuff. Kaya Jones from the Pussycat Dolls. Um, I do her stuff. I work with Sierra Ramirez from the Fosters ABC family. Um, Lily Galici, Tyrese, um, 
And then my cousin is a very famous singer, dancer, actress. She was on Dance Moms and then got her own show. Her name's Asia Monet Ray. I do all of her hair and makeup. Um, we keep it in the family, you know, the Ray family. And um, so a lot of stuff in the entertainment business. Um, and then of course, a lot of models because I do photo shoots all the time. Um, um, need to watch more videos of what you do. Absolutely love it. Yes, and then on Snapchat, I always do behind the scenes snaps when I'm on shoots and video shoots and um, all the jobs I go to. I always Snapchat. I'm like a Snapchat whore. Just saying. I absolutely love Snapchat. I think it's the best thing that's ever like been invented. Um, is there any specific days or times that you go live? No, as my um, schedule is very crazy. I just kind of go live when I can. Um, lip land lipstick type is Nicole, in Nicole Ray for your discount. Yes, thank you. Um, um, how do you feel about the Mario... A dosco spray. I have not used it. I have not, honestly. Um, and um, yeah, and then I teach makeup at Ruby Makeup Academy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sundays. So I'm there a lot. The only day I do not teach is on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all my classes are night classes. And then Saturday is mornings and Sunday is all day. So I do all my shoots in the mornings um, all the way to the afternoons. And um, if it's a large shoot, then um, then I either have to call off or something. Um, but the people that I work with that are educators also are really good. So, yeah. Um, always on Snapchat and I've added you. Can't wait to see your snaps. Awesome. I Seriously, Snapchat is amazing. Um, and I love it. But I hope you guys liked this look today. I hope it was informative and that it was easy for you guys to follow. This video will be published, so you can watch it again. And then I'm going to share it all over as well. And if you guys haven't shared it, please share it. That'd be so awesome. Um, but I liked hanging out with you guys. And, um, thank you Makeup Goals for letting me take over your guys' Facebook Live today. I had a blast. And I will see you guys soon. See you on my social media. Um, what is your Snapchat name? The Nicole Ray. All of my social media is actually linked to this video. So if you go uh, to the description area of this video, it has every link to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, Snapchat, and uh, website. All of it's on there. So you guys can get in contact with me. But I will see you guys later.